Hello viewers, this is Wagda Ronald taking you through this tutorial for all level mathematics. In this video, I'm going to talk about a topic called equality of matrices. So this topic is suitable for students in senior 3 and senior 4. So if you have two matrices, this matrix A1, B1, C1 and D1 and matrix A2, B2, C2 and D2 and they are equal, it implies that this matrix, th this value will be equal to this value. So A1 will be equal to A2 and B1 will be equal to B2, C1 will be equal to C2 and D1 will be equal to D2. So that basically that is what we mean by equality of matrices. So the value in the first row first row first column will be equal to the value in the first row first column of the other matrix. Similarly, the value in the first row second column will be equal to the value in the first row second column of the other matrix and also the value in the second row first column of one matrix will be equal to the value in the first row second second row first column of the other matrix and lastly the value in the second row second column of one matrix will be equal to the value in the second row second column of the other matrix so now that we know what we mean by equality of matrices we can now do the following examples so example one came from your 2017 paper one question six and it says find the values of x and y in three then matrix of x zero zero y minus two matrix of x zero zero y equal to 3004 and they give it for max so shall come and first state with the matrix given after that we shall do scalar multiplication so these three multiply each matrix issue inside here and also two will multiply by every entry inside this matrix so when you do that we shall come up with that so this with this gives you 3x and this with this gives you 3y this with this gives you 2x and this with this gives you 2y this side is still equal to that the next we have to again simplify this 2 by subtracting so 3x minus 2 will give you x and also 3y minus 2y will give you y so now we shall use the, for the knowledge on equality of matrices whereby this value will be equal to this value and also this value will be equal to that value what does that mean it means now that, that now x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 4 so basically that's what they wanted in this question and now let's see how mass can be awarded so m1 for scalar multiplication here and here the another m1 is for this subtraction and a1 for was for the value of x and another a1 for the value of y now we shall go to example 2. Example 2 says if matrix A, so it was got from your neb 2014 paper 1 question 6 and it says if matrix A which is that and B which is that, find the values of X and Y given that 3A is equal to B. So the first thing to do is to write down the condition given then after that we substitute so where there is A we shall put their matrix A, where there is B we shall put their matrix B. After that, we are going to do scalar multiplication for this side, left hand side, to come up with. So, this 3 with this gives 3x. This 3 with this gives negative 21. Then, this 3 with this gives 12, and this 3 with this gives 18y. So, that we shall now use equality of matrices. For example, this 18y will be equivalent to this. 36 so to get to come up with that then when I make y the subject by dividing both sides by y by 18 I'll come up with y equal to 2 on the other hand if I use equality still this value 3x will be equal to this value which is 17 minus y so that gives me this expression but I know that y is equal to 2 so I'm going to substitute for y to come up with that when I simplify I'll come up with that and when I divide both sides by 3 I'll come up with x equal to 5. So basically that's what they wanted and now let's see how mass can be awarded. So this M1 was for scalar multiplication. So for you to multiply this to come up with this, that is M1. Then A1 was for, so this was supposed to be 
okay a1 was for this equality so equating the two and getting the value of y then another m1 was for this equal for was for this part using the f using the knowledge of equality and also substituting for y then a1 is for this value of x so basically that's how the mass could be awarded now we shall go to example 3 example 3 says matrix 2410 and matrix and a column matrix so this is called a column matrix so a 2 by 1 matrix is called a column matrix so this is a 2 by 2 matrix and this is a column matrix this is a column matrix so matrix 2410 and a column matrix of ab is equal to a column matrix of 246 find the values of a and b so the first thing to do is to multiply the matrix on the on this side. So when I, I have to multiply this, remember multiplication we use row by column. So when I do that, so when I multiply row by column, I'll come and say two times a to give me two a plus four times b to give me four b. The next I'll go to the down row. So row by column, I'll say now one times a to come up with a then 0 times b to come up with 0. So now that I've got a two column matrix on each side, so I'll, go, I'll use now this the knowledge of equality whereby a plus 0 is equal to 6. That if I come and say that now my a is equal to 6, after that I also use this first row. So this 2a plus 4b is equal to 24. So I'll come and write that 2a plus 4b is equal to 24, but I know a is 6, so I'll come and substitute for a to come up with that, then I simplify to come up with 4b equal to 12 and when I divide both sides by 4, I'll come up with b equal to 3 so I've got the value of a and value of b and that's what they wanted now let's see how mass can be awarded so m1 was for this matrix multiplication and a1 was for equality and getting the value of a m1 was for equality and substitution for b for a and a1 is for getting the value of b so basically that's what they wanted in this example so now we shall go to example 4 example 4 came from uneb 2019 paper 1 question 10 and it says given matrix so this matrix multiplied by this matrix equal to this matrix find the values of x and y so first of all we shall state what is given and now that we shall multiply remember multiplying we multiply row by column so row by column will be 3 times x times 2 to give you 2x and plus 3 times 5 to give you 15 the next will be now for this row so this with this so we shall get 4 times 2 to come up with 8 and y times 5 to come up with 5y so now that you have done that we shall use now equality of two matrices therefore we shall say that this matrix 2x plus 15 will be equal to so the value of 2x plus 15 will be equal to negative 1 which gives you this step and when i simplify i'll come up with 2x equal to negative 16 therefore x will be equal to negative 8. similarly i know that 8 y 8 plus 4, 5y will be equal to 18. So I'll come here and write that 8 plus 5y equal to 18. Then I simplify to come up with 5y equal to 2. When I divide both sides by 5, I'll come up with y equal to 2. So now we have got the values of x and y, and basically that's what they wanted. Now let's see how mass can be awarded. So m1 was for matrix multiplication to come up with that part. Then this M1 is equality, so mobile meaning this mark can go at this step or it can go at this step. Then A1 was forget for to get the value of X and this A1 forget to get the value of Y. So basically that's how the formats could be awarded. Now shall go to example five. Example five says was got from your name 1992, paper one question eleven and says given that a 1 by 2 matrix of 1, 3 multiplied by a 2 by 2 matrix of 4y x2 is equal to a 1 by 2 matrix of 7, 7. Find the values of x and y. So you see that like we have done the previous example, we have to first multiply the two matrices. So when I apply, for the first one, I'm interested in the row, second one, I'm interested in the column. So 
this four times one times four will give me four and three times x will give me three x then I have to add the two then also one times y will give me y and three times two will give me six so I have to add the two so then I'll come up with a one by two matrix of four plus three x and y plus six this side it is seven seven so still I use the knowledge of equality whereby this four plus three x is equal to seven and y plus six is equal to seven so I'll come and say that four plus three x is equal to seven therefore when I simplify I come up with three x equal to three and when I divide both sides by two by three I'll come up with x equal to one also y plus six is equal to seven therefore y is equal to one and basically that's what they wanted so let's see how much can be awarded so m1 was for matrix multiplication to come up with that then m1 for equality and it is more by meaning it can be put at this step or at this step then a1 for was for to get the value of x and a1 another a1 for you to get the value of y now we shall go to example 6 example 6 came from your 1995 paper 2 question 7 and it says given the matrix given that matrix a is 2 by 2 matrix of 4.5107 and b is a 2 by 2 matrix of 2 negative 7 3 1 find matrix m such that 3m minus 2i capital I equal to 2a minus b where i is an identity matrix of order 2 so in this case we have come across a new term of i we, we being an identity matrix so this word identity matrix for this order we know it order 2 means the 2 by 2 matrix but this word identity matrix what is it so let's first write a hint and say that a matrix whose entries in the major diagonal are ones and the entries elsewhere are zeros is called an identity matrix in other words this is what we call a major diagonal so the entries are one and the rest are zeros therefore this is a two by two matrix two by two identity matrix so now that you have known what an identity matrix is we can now answer our question so the first thing to do is to state what is given so we are given that 3m minus 2i is equal to 2a minus b so next is to substitute m is what i'm looking for i is an identity matrix which is we have seen as 1001 so always as long as they say that identity matrix of order 2 just know that is 1001 then a is that b is that so after substituting we shall now simplify by multiplying so this color goes inside so 2 times 4.5 gives you 9 2 times 1 gives you 2 2 times 7 gives you 14 and 2 times 0 gives you 0 for this side 2 times 1 gives you 2 2 times 0 gives you 0 2 times 0 gives you 0 and 2 times 1 gives you 2 okay so next will be to simplify this subtraction so 9 minus 2 gives you 7 2 minus negative 7 gives you 9 0 minus 3 gives you negative 3 14 minus 3 minus 1 gives 13 the next is to bring this matrix this side to come up with this step whereby this it will be called this plus that matrix so next is to add the two matrices so 7 plus 2 gives you 9 9 plus 0 gives 9 negative 3 plus 0 gives negative 3 and 13 plus 2 gives 15 now next is to divide by 3 so take this 3 this side it will be divided by 3 so a third times 9 gives you 3 a third times 9 is 3 a third times negative 3 is negative 1 and a third times 15 is 5 so basically that's what they wanted and now let's see how much can be awarded 
So M1 also substitution and scalar multiplication, meaning it is given at this step whereby we have already substituted and have already multiplied through by the scalar. Then this one is for subtraction. So for you to subtract these two matrix to come up with this, that is M1. Then another M1 was for addition. So for you to add these two matrices to come up with this. And this A1 is for you to divide by scalar multiplication. So multiplying through by a third to come up with this, that is your A1. So that brings us to the end of this video. But So what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave you with an exercise on still on this very topic of equality of two matrices for you to try out and check your progress. So that brings us to the, to the end of this video. Be reminded that the solutions for the assignment left will be available in the next video. So if you have not yet subscribed, please click on the subscribe button below this video so that you can receive updates when the next video of the solutions has been uploaded. That's why thank you for watching and also if you know any student who is not yet on this platform, please share the link of this video with them via social media platforms like Facebook and WhatsApp so that we can all benefit us the family